Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap with Southern California correspondent Scott Shapiro. ShapCap is sponsored by Derby Wars, your site for daily horse racing tournaments. And ShapperToCapper.com, your site for daily handicapping info from across the United States. Hey, racing fans, welcome back to another edition of Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap. What a performance well, it was in the Pacific Classic last weekend by 2014 Horse of the Year, California Chrome, who's on track for yet another Horse of the Year. If he can get things done over the next two starts, he sure looks like he'll be tough. If he goes to the Awesome again, or even if he goes straight to the Breeders' Cup Classic, he's going to be very tough to beat. But wow, from start to finish, Victor Espinosa pops him out of the gate, fans him wide, then powerful effort on the way home. Making Beholder, Dortmund, and Opportunity look like ordinary animals. What a performance by the Art Sherman trainee. Hats off to Beholder and her connections as well. She ran a great race, probably wins the Pacific Classic most days, but was no match for Chrome. Well, they look to go to the Zenyatta, it appears, and probably from there the Breeders' Cup distaff. She'll take on Stellar Win in a rematch in the, in the Zenyatta, and then hopefully we'll get to see Songbird, Beholder, and Stellar Win in what would be a great Breeders' Cup distaff. Then there's the This Week. Light week after the uh, big weekend last weekend. The Grade 2 Pat O'Brien at 7 Furlongs is the featured race on the Saturday card. It's a five-horse field, and it looks to be all masochistic. Masochistic who had a great year last year, was started it off by beating San Onofre in the Kona Gold. Then he beat a paling, appealing tail and wild dude in the Triple Bend before being upset at Del Mar in the Bing Crosby when he was odds on. Well, then gave him a little time off, Ron Ellis did his trainer. He failed to hit the board in his last two starts, including a last place effort in the Breeders' Cup Sprint. Ellis gave him plenty of time off and then brought him back at Santa Anita, where he put forth an incredible six and a half furlongs and one thirteen and three effort under no hand asking under by Mike Smith. Ellis seems to think he's a different horse. He was somewhat of a runoff in the previous years of his career, but he's learned to relax, which makes it scary. This horse is lightning fast. There does not look to be any speed to keep up with him in the Pat O'Brien. Plus, he draws outside. I would be shocked if Masochistic didn't win. You do have the wild card in there, number three, Vijack, going first out for Phil Diamato. This horse was scratched in a previous start earlier in the meet, previously trained by Rudy Rodriguez and Bill Mott. Definitely he's been training real well and may be able to give Masochistic a run for his money, but I have my question marks on how good this, this uh, runner will be throughout the rest of his career. They've gotten a lot, asked a lot out of this horse already. Hasn't been that great even for the great trainers in New York, especially Mott. Was good, not great, but I don't know if he can run with uh, Masochistic. If you're looking for some value underneath, perhaps you could do worse than number one outside Nashville. This horse goes turf to dirt and cuts back in distance for trainer Jerry Hollendorfer. Has a lot of success in his career, including a 9 for 35 record. I think outside Nashville could sit to sit off the pace and pick up the pieces late. I might take a shot with a 5-1 exacta masochistic over outside Nashville. But other than that, pretty hard to wager on this race. I'd single masochistic in all my horizontals if you're playing a pick 5 Five, four other races to try to find value will definitely hurt your chances of hitting the big one in that sequence, but Masochistic looks very tough to beat. All right, we'll be back next weekend. The big two-year-old races, the Delmar Deputant and the Delmar Futurity to close out the meet. Monster Weekend at Saratoga, the Travers, tons of grade ones, plenty of opportunity there to make money. Enjoy yourselves. Hopefully you can cash a few tickets. Masochistic could put on a performance for us at Delmar, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for joining me.